So I went to E's pantry again. Oh, did you now? I know. Right? Why? What? Why? Because it's the closest one to the bus stop. That's of sufficient pretentiousness. Yeah, I know, but still, why? So, uh, are you getting a ten percent discount now? No. So, do you want to start pretentious food corner, my dear conflicted host? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> yes. Yes, might as well. What's my name? Sophie. Yes. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Mike. How's your week been? Ah, meh. Um, well, there's been some renovations to the room. Yeah, what happened? I'm sure you haven't noticed. Nah, it's more of an in inside job, isn't it? Yeah, it's more of a, yeah, it's more of a corrupt job. Inside job, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's more like your heat, I think your piping has been, um, upgraded? Yeah, um, like, for instance, they've closed off the, um, the gaps in the piping there. Ah, oh, yes. And they've stuck, um, pink bats in here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it's more quiet. More quiet and more warmy. And it's more dryish. Yeah. So, um, can I have some tomato seeds? Oh, yes. You shall. It's, too, it's a perfect growing condition for tomatoes. Yes, or other illegal plant substances. Yes. Yes. This might calm you down. Good to his presence. <laughs> Mind you, medical marijuana might be legal very soon. Yeah, depends. See how it goes. And what's the new computer down there? Uh, oh, I wonder whose it is, Sophie. It's yours, isn't it? Yes. This is why we have to finish... Oh, well, this is the reason why we're only doing one podcast in this little stint. Yeah? Because we have to go to the computer store and grab some things. Oh, cool beans! You, maybe you can teach me all about computer chips and how to protect against the Intel corruption. Oh, no, you, you can't really. Okay. Um, oh, because with, with, with the new update that I've put in this new program called Superfetch. Yeah? Um, it's pretty much... A dog. A digital dog. <laughs> fetching all your things. Yeah, because... Like, cause, cause Sorry, I'm just being facetious. Because of the, the vulnerability... Yes? What was caused by the chip predicting what programs need to be doing during the startup. Yes. So what they've done, instead of predicting it, they have used Superfetch yeah. as, as sort of like, yeah, let's do this programs really quickly rather than predicting it. Yeah. So it's like a band-aid. I see. Yeah. So what are you going to get for this computer? Well... Well, uh, firstly, mm. um, say to the audience how I got this computer. I would rather not boast. Okay. Just speak about this computer. Um, so <laughs> you've got this seven-year-old computer. How are no, you going no, to upgrade no, it? No, no, It's not seven. Eight-year-old computer. No, it's not eight-year-old. Ten. Ten. So you, let's just say that you have a ten-year-old computer. Yes. How are you going to upgrade it? What are you going to put in it? And afterwards, I'm going to talk about my computer. Now, no, 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 okay. Firstly, I have to do the specs for the audience. Yes. It is a Acer Aspire AX3950. Mm -hmm. It has a, I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes. i5650. Yes. Which is older than my laptop. <laughs> than the i5 and the laptop. Mm -hmm. By three generations. <laughs> it has a GT310 mm. 1 gig um, graphics card. Yeah. It has... I'm not sure what is inside, but it says it's got 4 gigs of DDR3. I'm not sure if it's 1, 2, and 2 ones, or it's 1 stick of 4. I need a Phillips screwdriver to open it up and have a look. Mm -hmm. um, it has two 500 gig um, hard drives. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about the power, power supply because I have to open that up. It glows. That's got that's got that going for it. It glows. Yeah. Oh yeah, the blue L LED light. Um, and it has HDMI, which is no, no, but, but that's from the GT310. Mhm. Mm and it also has I can't believe I'm saying this a DVD drive. <laughs> A DVD write drive. It's as old as balls. What did you expect? It, it is it older is, than my balls. It, it, it is older than a primary school person's balls. 
I know, right? <laughs> okay, so in saying that, um, oh, RAM, yes. RAM is no real issue. Yes. 24 gig, which is necessary. Yes. For any applications. Um, I would like to see what hard drive it is and what um, power supply it is. Oh, yes. Because I don't want to put it under load and goes boom. Right? Because, you know... Like it, the terrorist. Because you, cause we were talking about how it kaputs every day. Yes. That could be a power issue. I see. Because, like, cause you, you know, power goes off temporarily, um, shuts the drive off, and therefore you get in the blue screen. I see. Um, there's probably a lot of dust in there. Yeah. So I need a compressed air can. Yeah. Um, Vape yourself? Yeah. And probably upgrade the graphics, even though I know for a fact that I'll be losing half of my bandwidth. I know that. What do you mean bandwidth? Um, how how fast it is. The, yeah, it's actually going to go half as fast as the motherboard would be. I see. Um, but so that, half the processing power will go into the graphics? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Half of the total. Okay. Beca- because of the motherboard problem. Which is weak. Pathetic. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got like PCI 2.0. Yeah. So instead of 6 gigabit per second, yeah. it's going to go at 3. Yeah. So um, I was asking Mike the other day whether it was possible to have a computer. Did, have we talked about this before? My computer speaks. I really like. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Have yes. we talked about this before on the podcast? Yes, we have. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah we, we talked about it briefly. Oh, yeah. Um, not in that much detail, but considering that we were talking about what your future computer yeah. would want to be. I was, I was, of course, wondering whether I could upgrade my computer to such a spec. And as it turns out, no, I can't. No, you can't, because it'll be soldered onto the, the frame. laptop. Yeah. yeah. Which so, some laptops do, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Um, they, they leave it open for um, RAM expansion. Yes. But that's in very rare instances. Yeah. Um, you can, you can take the drive out. Yeah. Um, and do what I did. Uh, look, like I took the um, the DVD drive out. Yeah. Uh, the disc drive out and stuck a caddy in there, so I can put a SSD hard drive combo in there. But the thing is, my one's a Dell XPS thirteen nine three five zero, which means I can't do any of those things because. Everything's stuck together. There's, yeah. there's never was a disk drive in the first place. Yeah. I just been given what I've got. It's just it was the best computer in its class back in the day, but yeah. not anymore. Yes, and um, I heard from the CES that they are bringing out eighth generation i seven um, laptops with six cores. Wow. So that's you know that's as top as you're going to get. So six cores, how heavy will that be? The laptops? No, 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 well, well the chip, the, yeah. the CPU will be six cores, 12 threads. Wow. That's what, that would be enough for most things, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, like, like, like we talked about in the last podcast, sky's the limit. Yeah. So, you know, six cores, 12 threads is the best you're going to get. For a laptop. Yeah, ever. Oh, yeah, in 2018, yeah. that is the best you're going to get. So, what I suggest is that if you get a 4-core 8-thread, yeah. <laughs> be happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Hey, um, have you ever seen someone with an overblown computer? Like, you just don't need that much power, mate. What are you thinking? Well, I look at you for that. <laughs> uh, I look at your future laptop for that. Why? You're like, really? Yeah, yeah, we well, yeah. So you know, and the reason why we're going to PB Tech after this podcast, yes, is that there's a few things missing with the laptop right now. Yeah. So I can boot it up and update everything accordingly. Your laptop. No, what? Well, yeah, well, the the computer. The computer. Yes. Okay. So there is no Wi-Fi. Yeah. 
I've already paid for the adapter, sort okay. of. Um, and I've also paid for a, U, uh, for a Bluetooth adapter. Okay. So I could run my keyboard and my mouse. Right. Off that. Okay. Yeah. So, now that we talk tech, are you hungry? Of course. I am always hungry. Now. How does Mandarin tarts look to you? This is a mandarin tart. Oh, a pair of mandarin tarts. Okay, Uh, yeah, a pair and mandarin tarts. A pair of. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Okay, my initial thoughts when I'm looking at it. Yeah. It looked like a deep fried something. It isn't. I I I know it's not, but purely based on physical appearance, straight out of the box. It looks like it's deep fried something. It looks majorly sugary though, and the mandarin itself looks rather g- gelatinous. Now, okay, so what they've done is that they have. Whoa! It is extra soft. The biscuit is extra soft. It looks like that they've glazed the mandarins. They glazed everything. Um, I'm not sure what the base is, the, the cream. Bis- biscuit and um, chocolate? Yep. Um, I'm not sure what the base, is, the the cream in the middle is. Okay, it might be custard. It is custard. It is. Thank you for telling me, Sophie. Yeah. I wasn't sure what it was. Thank you for telling me. Hmm. Now, that is not bad. Hmm. Because cause, cause you get the initial hit of the mandarin, and then you get the smoothness of the custard at the back. Mm. So, the question I ask, yeah, is this the same price as the Bellamy? Similar. Similar? Mm-hmm. We're talking about a, a, a silver coin difference, or a gold coin difference? Bronze coin difference. A bronze coin difference? A copper coin difference? Yes. Okay. Um, it is a lot less sugary mm-hmm. than the Bellamy is. Yes. Um, I would prefer this with an Earl Grey, perhaps. Yes. Oranges, oranges. Mm-hmm. Um, possibly for a morning or an afternoon tea. Mm. Um, and for the same price you can get... Two KFC, uh, two KFC chicken pieces, a potato and gravy, and chips for the same price. $2.90? $4.90. This is $2.90. Three, this is three ninety. Mm-hmm. For an extra gold coin, mm-hmm. you can have a snack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but do you prefer this over the KFC? No, I prefer this over the Bellamy. Yeah. Do you prefer KFC? Oh, well... But because of me being me, mm-hmm. I prefer cheap, bulky things that will guarantee to fill me up, mm-hmm. rather than a, than a than a snack. Yes. yes. This does not feel as if it's going to send me to hospital. This is much better for me. Yes. Yes, and you know we're we're having the debate here about. What is the best way to spend your grocery money mm. without going to hospital? <laughs> Would you rather eat little yes. and spend a lot? Yeah. Or spend little and have a lot more trips to the hospital? I'd rather reduce my trips to the hospital as much as yeah. I could. Yes. How about you? Well, consider it, well, well, it is changing. Yes. Because uh, I, I grew up that you have to fill yourself up to the point where everything becomes heavy. Yes. And because I am now a heavy boy. Yeah. That, 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 that has changed. I am eating a lot less than what I was previously. Yes. Um, I'm not sure how the waistline is looking. Do I seem a little a little looser? You actually, your tummy's actually going in. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the past, no offence, but your tummy used to poke out of your um, 
um, shorts and every single time you sat down I would see a part of it. Now it's covered by your t-shirt now. Yes. And this is a t-shirt you wore since your father's day. Yes. So, yes you have lost weight. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't actually hopped on the scales. But you should soon. Yes. But yeah. So how would you rate this Bellamy no, tart <laughs> out of 10? How would you rate the start out of 10 with one being this is crap to this is the best food I've ever had? Now, I, I think in the podcast I, re- I rated the Bellamy a 6. Yes. Um, I would rate this a 7. Yes. It would be an 8 if the outer bits of the tart weren't so crumbly. I think that was my fault because it's been on the hot bus for quite a while. Yeah, but yeah, but you know, other than that, that is my... It, yeah, it, it's not going well at me with the flavours. Yes. But it's great. Okay. Hmm. Now, talking about unusual things. <laughs> okay. Nintendo Cardboard. Also known as... as Nintendo Labo. Yes. But I call it Nintendo Cardboard because of Google. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. So, you, you know, what they've done is that... Um, in, in my in my eyes, yes, and maybe with your eyes as well, they have done a more sustainable um, peripherals compared to the Wii and the Wii U. Yes, not in many ways sustainable as in made of trees, and sustainable as in people like it more. Yes, <laughs> so you, you know they have adapted the switch. Yep. Um the uh, openings in the cardboard labo accessories yeah so it, it'll be easier to use and more functional so for example um this is my favorite one the piano uh, yeah you make a piano then you stick the um joy cons into the piano and the joy cons can work out which keys you're pressing yes and so that will translate it onto the switch screen yes so you yeah, so we're we used to um, the things and it hooks and sort of like a electronic circuit. Yes. So what you are pushing on the keys it corresponds to a a button pushed on the Joy Con. Yeah. Yeah. But the Joy Cons they recognise which keys are pushed through its infrared camera. Yeah. So. So yeah. And so there are even like knobs on the piano so you can change the pitch as well. Yeah. So yeah, little things like that because you know there was a a um, shotgun, a fishing rod. Um, the price range is going to be about a hundred dollars per accessory. New Zealand. New Zealand. No, not per accessory. Hundred dollars per kit. Yeah, yeah, per kit. Yes. Yeah, and it'll come with uh, mini games. Yeah. For the Switch. One hundred dollars. Would you pay that? Um, I would like, for instance, if it's about, well, this is a split for the cost. It's eighty dollars for the game, but twenty dollars for the cardboard. Yeah. So you can, so maybe in the future you can just buy the cardboard if you wrecked your <laughs> you if you wrecked your toys but not the game. Now the pr- yeah. the problem that I have with it yes is and a lot of outlets are saying this as well yes um you know don't buy it initially yeah because the use of it yeah. at the moment is not that great but. If other developers infused yeah. Labo in their games, like for instance, when the port of Doom is out, if you were able to use the shotgun or the robot, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it, yeah. And Stardew Valley, if you could actually use a fishing, the fishing rod in Stardew Valley, or at or um, Animal Crossing, yeah, yeah. Same thing. But, so, but seriously though, because the fact they have a shotgun, they, they can use it for so many first person shooter games. Well, exactly. Yeah. Um, and pretty much... But isn't that Catch-22? Because if not a lot of people buy it initially, none of the gamers, none of the game developers will include clips in their games, and therefore it would never make Labo a viable option. Therefore, I'm afraid if you can't afford Labo, please get it so that the other, so that you can make it even more awesome in the future. And the question I ask you... Yes? Is that, has it... 
enticed you to buy a Switch even more. Yeah. Okay, for me it's not. Because it's already got two great games on there, which you would get. Yeah, yeah, but like, has it enticed you even more with Labo to buy a Switch? It has, actually. It makes yeah. me very interested. Yeah, it, yeah. But, but for me it hasn't, and I had a, um, a 2DS when it first came out. Yeah. Um, actually, it was... The best part about that wasn't the games, it was the alarm clock. It was actually pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you're not their target audience. Not anymore. No. You're, you're a little bit too old and your mind works too differently. Yeah. Whereas for me, um, I'm still a kid at heart and I love making things. Yes. I love paper craft. So it's like, oh my god, actual paper craft games! It, it'd be even better if they actually gave you plans to develop your own sort of yes yeah that's early days yet you know? yeah yeah i know i know they've only just announced it so 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 adoption is key yes in other words guys if you can afford it if you have kids please buy the labo so you can actually make it even more awesome for us yeah and, and you know that's the whole point of yeah. most of the analytics in regards to switch yes the um all of the analysts are changing the uh, perspective on how the switch is going to go yeah. from how many if from having it one switch per household yeah to per individual oh really so if you have multiple kids you get multiple switches yes wow yeah. so it's not like we you and no, it's not like we in which um you have a family of four having one console yeah it's now a family of four having two consoles yes wow whoa yeah because you know, if if I was a parent and they had their kids, yes, I would deliberately actually have my own switch and they have their own switch. Three switches. No, yeah. but, but probably even, two, three. Yeah, 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 you yeah, probably have two kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An average household has two kids, and I'm like, but average, yeah, air but, quote, <laughs> average yeah, boy, but, girl, and a half, and a half, you know, two and a half kids. Well, what is the half kid? <laughs> well, the dog. Well, considering a that, zombie. I, I have to premise this with this as well. Yes. My nephew mm. has two Xbox 360s. Yes. One at his house mm. and one at my parents' house. Yes. So they can switch between the two. Oh, yes. I know there's some issues that they have and they want me to fix it, but hey, I haven't been home in a while. Would you, weren't you going to give him an Xbox One for Christmas? No, but what I said... Look at it, it looks really pretty. Yes, it might be a good present, but I wasn't too sure whether you were thinking that, oh yes, I will get it, or this is a potential Christmas idea. <laughs> I was expecting mm, more richer people than me to get it. Like your sister? Them. Oh, well, not necessarily, they're more like... Um, your parents? Yeah, or even his the, the father's parents, which I doubt. But, but they're dicks, though. <laughs> oh, you stop being a dick. Um, <laughs> but Australian, what did you expect? But in saying that, um, the, the, there is some other important news yeah. that, that I have to talk to you, and this is a very personal, because I know this person, I've known them for pretty much my entire life. Yes. That, that, um, that Mungle Mob app. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure if you've heard of it. No. Explain no. that app. They brought a gang app up and they, you know, they post a, a person's face into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the person that they posted the face on. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, back backtrack, backtrack. What's the app for? Is it a social media app? No, it's an actual app for for Mongrel Mob. It's a, it's called the... I'm not sure what the app is actually called. Is it, called, is it like a blackboard? No, no, no. Yep, see? Developers pulled Mongol Bob app after threats. Yeah. I'll let you read that. <laughs> yes. Black Power Defense. We will not be republishing the app until we know more follow up titles. Yeah. Smartphone game. Yes. Featuring Dead Mumble Mob, mob member. Lovely Jubbly. Yep. And the person that they've represented on the app, I know the person. What does he die of? 
No, 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 no. It was somebody else. Yes. It wasn't the dead person. It was another person that they've taken the screenshot on the game. I know that person. Another person, not face. Repeat that again. Sorry. There, there is a, there is a black power person's face yes. on that app. On the Mongol Mob app. Yeah, I know the person. Okay, who is he to you? He, because we went, we both went to the same school. Yes. He was a year below me. Ah oh, yes. Um. Their family is pretty much known in, in um, black power circles. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and I'll talk to you the actual story that he was infamous for. But in mm-hmm. saying that, you know, to me, he was also he was always the guy that, you know, that you got on the alcohols with. I see. Yeah, and, and you know, he never threatened me in any way. You know, he just wanted to live his life just like everybody else. Oh, yeah. And because you know, and a lot of people that you know, that, that know me know, that um, my childhood was was pretty gang-related. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I come from a town where there's a lot of gangs. You know, you, you go to school with, kid, with kids of gang members. Right. And, and it's just part and parcel. Especially when I mentioned to people that this was the norm for me when I was a kid and people were relatively shocked, including yourself. Additionally. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the, this is... Yeah, I, I'm not really surprised it has gone to this. Oh, yeah? Um, and, and the way that he conducted himself when News Hub actually went to his house and had an interview with him. Yeah. He... I, I've been hearing through the circles that he may be a future spokesman for the gang based on his response oh yeah was he calm and yeah he was very calm very collective which was great a great orator yes he said that you know i'm just a person i'm just like i'm just like i'm a gangster like everybody else <laughs> and my photo just just like happens to be in the app yeah and, you know we've all got families to feed and stuff like that so yeah, he, I think he conducted he conducted himself pretty well. Oh, okay. Hmm. So that's a um, developing story at this stage. Yes. And speaking of high news items for the week. Yeah. The first kid of New Zealand. I know, right? Hmm. Just in the idea and is pregnant. Yes. Triggers. Yes. Um. <laughs> And we and we discussed this um, outside of the podcast. Oh yes. Um, about about our thoughts on it. Okay. Um, especially that during the forming of the government, that's when she knew. Yeah. So she may she may have used that as a possible bargaining deal indirectly, of course, not directly. Like, I'm pregnant. Who wants to be the Prime Minister while I'm taking maternity leave? Yeah, well, you just say, you know, I'm going to be on maternity leave. So, Winston, you're going to be the acting Prime Minister for the six weeks that I'm going to be on maternity leave. Yeah. Yeah. This is, so, you're no longer just the Vice Prime Minister? Yes. You'll be acting Prime Minister while I'm away. Um... Personally, I think it's great, and it shows um, a, a huge amount of respect not only for Jacinda Ardern, yes, but as uh, um, but as a country as a whole. Yeah, working mothers in general. Yeah, shows that you can have it all, I suppose, in a way. Well, yeah. But so long as you know the partner is supportive, you know, taking their share of the chores yeah it doesn't work if the woman has to do everything yeah and this was pretty much i uh bipartisan approach yeah towards the whole issue mm. you, you know um i'm not going to mention the other countries but if there was someone else being pregnant yes in another country they'll be say that you know you know she'll be unfit to run office yeah and, and, and stuff like that which i think is kind of silly thinking that way mm. because uh, um hey funny fun fact a woman on a period has a woman on a period 
has the same hormonal makeup as a man. Yes. Therefore, if you guys just claim that women uh, can't become good leaders due to hormonal fluctuations, it just doesn't quite make sense, you know? Because, like... Yeah. Yeah, on her, yeah, what happens when she's on a period? She becomes more like a man. It's a bit like you. A bit more yeah. like you, you know? It's like, if you... Well, if you don't think women are fit to rule when they're on their periods, so shouldn't men, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, as a man... Yes. um, This is the way that I see it, as a man. Yeah. You you know, by the time you go to office, Mm -hmm. you know, you know, when Jacinda started, you know, politics a decade ago... Yeah. She had already gone through over a decade of these monthly cycles. Yeah. You would have think that you would be sort of semi-adapted to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rather than just say, woman are allowed to be a government. Come on. She's been doing this for over a decade now. I'm pretty sure she can adjust. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure she has been adjusting, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say that, you know, most, you know, she'll go to the toilet and throw up and take the rest of the day off. It's not going to be like that. No, she'll just go to the toilet, throw up, go back to, go back to work. Yeah. It's, it'll just be no more than a smoking break. Yeah, it's like compose yourself for a minute and carry on. Yeah. Maybe brush your teeth. Yes. Yeah, but other than that... It's a smoke Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, you, <laughs> you, you know... <laughs> and for me, people might think of that... It is sort of weird thinking on a male perspective. Yeah. But that's not the way I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot a lot differently compared to others. You think scientifically. You think logically. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than thinking about, you know, pursuing for my own personal will. Yeah. It's yeah, it's not the way I do things. So what type of life do you think the kid will lead? Oh, um I mean, if we're going by the um, current patterns. Jacinda Ardern might be prime minister still when the kids when the kid goes to school. She probably yeah yeah the yeah. kid probably will. The kid will probably be going to school. Yeah. By the by the time Jacinda finally resigns or something. Yeah, well, we you know I I think. I mean, that... we've seen a huge change with John Key's kids. I mean, he's been prime minister for like what twelve years. Nine, nine. nine. Nine years? Yeah. Um, and, and no doubt Jacinda will have yeah. nine years as well, more than likely. Well, she'll have at least six. Yeah, have at least six. So by, so by that time, that kid would, would have already started primary school. Yeah. Um, what type of life would this kid lead then? I would think it'll be relatively normal. Oh, yes. Um, like, they won't talk about mum, they'll talk about dad, like this Clark Gayford guy who's just dad. Yeah. Um, Fisher Dad. The, 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 there is a few things because if I was in that situation that I would yeah. expect. Yes. Um, if they were going to have the women's magazine articles. Yes. I would expect that the proceeds of that to go to a charity. Yeah. That's what I would think. Also, there'll be paparazzi pics. Of her, and then they'll splash the pictures everywhere, put, drawing a gigantic circle around her belly. Yeah. I'm not going, I'm not going to say that it's, you know... Yeah. Um, Chris Jenner bad. Yeah? Oh, no. No, what's her name? Not Kendall, the other one. Kat, Courtney? No. Chris? Kylie. 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 It's a so, K. Yeah, it's a K. I know that. But I'm like, which one is it? Yeah, it's not going to be as bad as Kylie Jenner. Yeah. But Jacinda Ardern isn't selling lip kits. No. <laughs> <laughs> and not Snapchatting the whole thing. But yeah, um, it's going to be very interesting. I, I, I would think that the kid would live a relatively normal life. At, at Point Chev? Yeah, at Point Chev. Um, yeah, and, and it shows a lot of being a stay at home dad. Yeah. More acceptance. Yeah, more acceptance of. Yeah, um, being a paternal parent. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that will um, lead into the paternity leave argument. Yes. And, 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 you know, by all means, the whole um, 
Clark being a stay-at-home dad is a relatively good thing. Yeah. More acceptance. Yes. This is the future liberals want. Oh, yeah. 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 Where everyone gets their own shot. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry I didn't get you on the whole high-five thing. So, um, what we basically have is an unmarried couple with the woman as a breadwinner. Yes. Having a kid... And the father being a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, it shows a lot. And furthermore, the woman is leading a country. <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. The future liberals want. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the Americans were shocked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and and it shows yeah. how, even though I, some of the things that I wish yeah. would happen a lot sooner in this country. Yes. Compared to a lot of other countries, were pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's some things that we could definitely improve on, but uh, relatively better. Yeah. That being said, we can definitely improve. Yeah. And on that note, shall we improve on the ending? Yes. This has been the pretty much decided podcast, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> We've decided that just in the R. Dan's pregnancy is cool. Yeah. You can contact me on the Manus, T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. I've actually upgraded my banner on nice. my twitter go check that out and i am at the first kid at the first kid <laughs> no 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 i'm not i'm not i'm not um this is um sophie 9709 signing out and if you s- wish to contact us and personally we are um as the undecided podcast at gmail.com or at, at or at ayu podcast at uh, no wait what what at ayu podcast <laughs> At AYU Podcast. Almost did it. Almost did it. <laughs> At AYU Podcast. 